14 seriously rubbish parts of cowgirl style. Yes, I know. Cowgirl style is meant to be the easiest style in which to achieve the big O. You know, because of cleat and body contact and also being able to control the speed, rhythm, movement. But let's be real. It is a load of faff. And the promise of achieving the big O is the only reason we are doing it. Cowgirl style is total rubbish. Not rubbing enough to put us off doing it. Because as we mentioned, <laughs> the big O. But still, it has some pretty crap parts. Number one, your leg gets sore. Unless you're a regular squatter, your legs are going to begin to ache. You would want to give up, collapse into a pile of despair, and let the other person do all the work. You will keep going. You're a true hero. Personally, I'll be like, everything hurts and I'm dying. <laughs> Number two, and <laughs> it is not entirely clear where your legs are supposed to go. If I plant my feet on the bed, I've got a more stable position and it is easier to move around, but I do look like I want to poo. Three, there is pressure to last for a while so you don't look lazy or unfit, even though you haven't popped a squat in years. And this is killing your inner ties. Number four, tummy folds. There is nothing wrong with tummy rolls, obviously, but if you're self-conscious about your tummy in any way, cowgirl style knocking is the worst. Number five, the name is bloody awful. I am not a cowgirl and no, I am not going to wear that hat. Also, Woman on Top sounds like a self-help book about succeeding in a tough world of business. Nah. Number six, the person you're knocking with can see directly up your nose. Is there anything there? Who knows? But let's keep that as a niggling doubt for the next 20 minutes or so. Number seven, the concern that their view may be like the one you see when you accidentally open your front camera. You know what? <laughs> I have a feeling that from below isn't the best angle from which to appreciate my face. Number eight, the pressure of keeping the rhythm is all on you. Fine if you're coordinated. A lot of stress if you're not. Number nine, serious question. How frequently are you supposed to change the movement? Do you do the same motion on one cycle? One pump of one, then swipe to circles. Just up and down for the entire session. I need the answers in the comment section. Number 10, there is a lot of bull bouncing around. I get that. It can be a little bit of turnaround. But it bloody hurts after a while and I think it looks strange. Number 11, it is genuinely dangerous. Did you know that cowgirl is the most dangerous style in terms of joystick breakage? I bet you don't. Number 12, there is too much eye contact. Gazing into each other's eyes for a prolonged period of time just feels a little bit creepy. Number 13, there is pressure to have perfect posture. Even when you want to slump forward in a heap and have a little lie down. 14, and let's be honest, it is always a bit annoying to be doing all the work while the other person lies down or lies back and enjoy the whole thing. Yes, this is fun and no, I don't expect you to always do the heavy lifting. But also, I am incredibly lazy and I can't be bothered to shift myself up, down and around. In other words, that is not to say that cowgirl is not amazing. I'm trying to bring out the disadvantages that can come out of it. And it is not something you should just learn from. <laughs> just catching a vibe, cruising on. Okay, some sort of comedy. Leave your comment down below in the comment section. I know you had fun watching this video since you got to this part. Leave your comment down below in the comment section. Tell me something you feel creepy or you don't like about cowgirl. I'm going to see you next time in my next video. But before then, let's meet in the comment section. Share this video, like my video, subscribe to my channel, or follow my Facebook page. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.